close your eyes and gather all your attention around the breath. Try to keep it with this one spot right here in the present moment. Notice where you feel the breath coming in, when it goes out, and try to breathe in a way that keeps that spot comfortable. That's the first part of learning how to listen to a talk, is just getting the mind centered right here, right now, so you can fully hear what's being said. Although, as they say in the Thai, Thai tradition, if you spend too much time focusing on the talk and not enough focusing on your own mind, you're going to miss the main point, which of course is to work with the mind. And the Buddha says as much in his instructions on how to listen to a Dharma talk. Two big points come out. After getting the mind gathered together, he says, then you use appropriate attention. In other words, you ask yourself, what is there in this talk that is appropriate for what's going on in my mind right now? And particularly, what insight does it give me into how I'm creating unnecessary suffering for myself? And what insight does it give into how I might follow the path to put an end to that, the cause of that suffering? In other words, you look at the Dharma in terms of how it applies to your suffering and what you can do to put an end to it. That's appropriate attention. And then there's practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. You apply the lessons and see how they work. Some people like to change the lessons even before they've applied them. But it's a good idea to give them a fair hearing and give them a fair test. See what happens when you apply the lessons. And then listen to see if maybe there are new insights that you may gain in how to apply those lessons. And that's when you get the most out of a Dharma talk. I was in Singapore recently and I learned of someone who was teaching that all you have to do for this first stage of awakening is simply listen to a Dharma talk and agree that yes, the Dharma is true. That's not much of an awakening and it doesn't have much of an impact. The real awakening comes when you see that you can actually use these teachings and they give the results they promise. They put an end to suffering. They take you to a place, a dimension in the mind where there is no suffering at all. That's when you know yeah, these teachings really work. Up to that point, you don't really know for sure. You're just testing them. And the Buddha encourages you to test them. Give them a fair try. You're not asked to believe them right away. But you are asked to take them on and see what they can do for you as you apply appropriate attention and then you practice the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. That's when you're in a position to test whether the Buddha really knew what he was talking about and whether his teachings really are useful. So remember that you're not just sitting here letting the words come into your ears and deciding whether you agree or not. You're asking yourself, how do they apply to what I'm doing right now that's causing suffering, and how do they apply to what I can do to put an end to that? When you listen to the Dharma in this way, you get the most out of it.